This video classifies geospatial functions offered by Kinetica into different types based on the nature of operations performed by them. Kinetica provides over 130 geospatial functions that are modeled on the ST function library from PostGIS. These can be broadly classified into three groups. These are functions that compute spatial attributes, those that identify spatial relationships between different geometries, and a third group that can be used to construct new geometries. Let's look at each of these a bit more closely. Attributes describe particular aspects of a geometry. We can use Kinetica's geospatial functions to compute attributes such as the area and perimeter of a polygon, the length of a line string, the min and max values for a geometry, etc. The next set of functions describe spatial relationships. These help us answer questions such as, do two geometries intersect? Are a set of points contained by another polygon? What is the distance between two geometries? Are two geometries equal? Where is a particular geometry in reference to another? And much, much more. The third set of functions construct new geometries, either from scratch or using other geometries. Some examples of these include constructing the centroid of a polygon, drawing a buffer around a particular geometry, creating new shapes through the intersection or union of shapes, spatially aggregating existing geometries into a larger geometry, etc. This brings us to the end of this video. Before we summarize what we have learned, I would like to note that we have only looked at a small subset of geospatial functions offered by Kinetica. There are several more functions that are available and can be accessed via the documentation website. So to summarize, geospatial functions in Kinetica can be broadly classified into three groups. The first that computes spatial attributes like area and length. The second that identifies spatial relationships between different geometries. And the third that can be used to construct new geometries. When combined, these three broad categories of functions can be used to cover a wide range of geospatial analytical use cases.